Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We last left off, we had finished down here, more or less. Um, fought some liquors, flipped a switch, and now we're about to get the F out. We'll go back down to the original lab. So let's go do that. Alrighty. Now hopefully, it's going to be a clear shot to the elevator. I guess it was. Okay. I thought something else happened there, but, well, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Right, let's uh, switch. Maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. That might be what's going on here. Right, let's grab that. And get the fuck up. Let's go. Because we've got a lab to get finished with. This might actually be the last video, depending on how quick I can get through it. This could be. Hey, guys! Whoa! Yeah. Not overly effective. Sadly. Yeah, it's not gonna hit from that range. Perspective is everything, yo. You're done. Get out of the way, buddy. Come on, small, you son of a bitch. See the whites of your eyes. Boom! Now, the only real difference uh, when fighting zombies with this gun, anyway, is that you do have a chance. Oh, you little fucker. Okay, we stamped on his ass and it made his head explode. Seems legit. Uh, the only real difference is you sometimes have a chance to like blow off half the zombie's body which is quite satisfying but now kinda of like the original really or the first time we come here I think we have to go this way first because we need to get the fuse and power it all up because Claire should have done this but she hasn't for reasons I guess um ooh. No, we need to go to the red zone first. My bad. My bad. We need power. Apparently the fuse is power. So let's go. Now this bit should be basically all the same. I'll try and remember. It's been so long since we've been down this lab. And I'm getting confused with the remake as well. I'm not sure how that's possible, because it's so different, but there we go. Alright, let's go get our fuse, build that bad boy up. And get some more power down here. Ooh. Hey guys. Um, Leon, we have zombie problem. God damn it, we're injured again. You can get wrecked, pal. Uh, not good. Really not good. Um, I guess. Yeah, we know about the user res uh, registration, and we will certainly be taking the lab card. Uh, let's go through here. There's some spicy meatballs through here. But there's also two slicey boys. But we should be able to keep them at bay with this. There we go. Two spicy boys. Not on my watch. Right, let's grab up the equipment from here. I'll have them. And I'll have them. Two boxes of shotgun shells. I mean, honestly. Right, let's load that up. And I think, actually, that's all that's in here. Yeah, I say it's all that's in here. I mean, it's pretty nice, let's be honest. Not going to not gonna sniff at um, 14 shotgun shells. We will throw them on the pile. Um, uh, did this before. 
but it's still loaded after ages come on come on don't do this to me because I haven't saved it in a very long time oh Really? It's not going to load, is it? You bastard. Six minutes into this video. Oh, man. This is why we should always save. I wonder if I eject the disk and put it back in, will it load? Probably not. Come on. It da okay, eject the disk and put it back in. Um cool. We are going to go and save it before we do anything else, guys. I know this might be a huge waste of time. I need to check that disc, because otherwise that might mean that my PlayStation's on the fritz. Which would be a little bit sucky if it is. But then this PlayStation is quite old. <laughs> it's a PlayStation 2, what'd you expect? Yeah, we're definitely going to go back and save it because I don't want to have to redo all of this. Which is annoying. You know, sometimes I just think I should just go back to using emulation instead of real hardware. And I think there's a quality argument for that. I really do. Because these old machines... Well. You know, they're old. Okay, I genuinely thought we were going to get attacked there. It's annoying that they have bloody save station here is all the freaking way down. Oh, man. I have been thinking about getting a new PlayStation 2 for ages. You know, I've got a Slim there. Actually. But... Nice. But, um... I, I'm sure it's got issues. I'm sure it has. I believe... Uh, we do want that. I believe, actually, I did repair that slim once before. Probably don't need that. We do want... Them. Alright. Good to go. Oh, no! Those black screens, guys. Those black screens. Now, to be honest, I don't use this PlayStation. This one. Um, enough to know how uh, how good it is, should we say. I've had... Uh, my Slim I've had since back in the day, since PlayStation 2s were actually relevant. Um, but this one I was given quite a few like years ago, and I really haven't used it much. Which I guess... Is a bit of an issue. Now, I also... I think during the last... The last run we had... Um, with Claire. The original um, run through. I actually saved the game. And it saved... Well, everyone saw the fact that it saved. Because I recorded it. Um, before I cut the video off. But it didn't save... Um, to the point where I was like, I'm sure I saved this. Why is the save not there? Blah, 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 blah. I look back at the footage and like, yeah, I saved it. And yes, it was the 
right memory card because it had the prior save. But it, like, even though it showed the saving, it didn't overwrite? I, I don't know, man. That was weird. Anyway, let's go back to the lab. Now we've, like, wasted tons of time going back to save. Hmm. See, I've been thinking about doing Silent Hill for the room. And I was gonna get the buy it on the PlayStation. But I don't know. I, mm, I, mm, I don't know. I might just use an emulator for it. I don't know. I like using the real hardware though. But unfortunately these uh, these machines are not getting not getting any younger like me so I don't know frustrating okay so we're back we're back in baby um, let's go this way I'm guessing what we need is this way so where's the frozen room? You can't go through there. Oh yeah, we need that. That's right. We need the lab card for it. Doi. Yeah. So doing like a no save run on this PlayStation would. Oh god. Yeah. Would not be wise. To say the least. Please don't get poisoned. Please don't get poisoned. Right. I hate these guys now. They're all powered up. Oh, you little, little bitch. If we don't use the flamethrower, then they swipe us on the way past. Yeah, we'll take the magnum bullets. Why not? Is that all that's here? Oh, hang on. I've kind of balls this up a bit. Yeah, we don't need to go in here. Literally, the only thing that's in here is those two. And that, uh, that magazine. Yeah, we need to go all the way down. Like, we could grab the flame. Oh, no, we... Just ignore everything I'm saying, guys. I'm just talking out of my utter arse here. Right, this is what we need. We don't want that F8 spray, which I imagine is extremely cold. But look at all these magnum rounds that we've got. You know, we could probably just comfortably uh, use the magnum from now on. Totally retire the hand, uh, the shotgun. The amount of ammo you get is way out of proportion to the enemies. Which, eh. I guess it's okay, but then I that's why like I think the Resident Evil 2 is the easiest one Unless you're playing Resident Evil 3 on easy in which case you start with all the weapons and Tons of ammo and gunpowder and all that stuff, which I I always thought that was really strange Like that you start with so much gear But you know, it's quite fun to fire up for a laugh Starting with the machine gun. Right, let's go. Well, the assault rifle, really, but let's not split hairs. Um, you know what? I think I will get the flamethrower. Like, the flamethrower is ass in this. Kind of. But... It's kind of, like, it's worth using, I guess. All right, now we have power. And one second, guys, I need to take a break. Right, and we're back, guys. Uh, yeah. God, it's been a little while, actually. Uh, right, so, going... Yeah, so we want to go back this way. Uh, we'll grab the flamethrower. Sure, I guess. Why not? 
It is useful against certain certain things, shall we say? And it should be in this room. Now, I'm pretty sure if we use the flamethrower, it actually knocks us down. Because, like the SMG, it's classed as a special weapon. Which is fucking bullshit, to be honest. Like, I I never liked that. Uh, the way they did that, to be honest. Like, if you're using unlimited ammo special weapons, then yeah, sure. But, like, using a flamethrower... And the submachine gun. I, I might be wrong about that. I think I need to check my sources there. Oh, God. There's two of them. There's two of them. These guys suck. And the flamethrower is... V oh, we're, are we poisoned? We're poisoned. You can see how quick the flamethrower runs out of ammo. Uh, it really drinks the fuel in this game. It was so much better in the remake. Which apparently, uh, just about a month after launch, has shipped 4 million copies. Which is great. <coughs> but that does not cover... That obviously doesn't cover um, digital sales. Which I imagine uh, would probably be at least another couple of million because you got to think of steam and psn and all the rest of it so yeah good news all right let's burn this guy nice hello friend have some fire have some fire uh 38 percent left which is not great. And we should have one more plant out here. But after that, I think we are golden. Let's have us a ba -ba 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 barbecue. Yeah, the flamethrower is really powerful against these guys. But, like, I wish you could reload this thing. I really do. Um, we're going to leave that herb there. There's tons of herbs down here anyway. This game just has so much health. Uh, 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 actually, we can use the flamethrower. We certainly can use the flamethrower for a bit coming up. A bit that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's switch up to the old peacemaker. Hey, we've got liquors. Hey, my friend. Step right up. Welcome to the show. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I would say we'd have to conserve ammo, but I'd be lying. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. That's a trio of dead liquors. And he's injured us again, honestly. Good thing there's like a million herbs here. Now these ones are quite tough. These ones are stronger than your average liquor. There's three herbs there. Like, seriously, is that enough herbage? They really didn't want you to struggle on easy... Or uh, normal, did they? Like, not even slightly. And luckily, we do have an item box here. Which is very much needed. So, let's... Jiggle our junk around. I'm not even going to bother, like, grabbing up all the herbs, to be honest. It literally just is a waste of time at this point. Uh, let's drop those back. <laughs> 53. I mean, look at that. It was 61, like, magnum shots. Um, mm -mm. I'm going to use both of those up very soon. Yep. Let's just take this. Like, I'm even thinking, like, is there even any point in doing... Yeah, there is a point, actually, in doing the guest room. 
I suppose. Now, unique to the B scenario. Oh, there's a. Ooh, you know, we will have a red herb. Again, very little point. But I guess we'll. Th yeah, let's go do the, the guest. The guest room. Now, these little bugs that drop down, these lava, you don't get those in the A scenario. They are unique to the B scenario. Right, let's take this guy down. This guy is actually really strong. And uh, he's very resilient to shotgun shells, unfortunately. Is he dead? No. He's still going. There we go. And here's death rattle over there. Now this is what I want to use the flamethrower for. Because clearing these things off is kind of a pain. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to hit those with anything. Uh, yes. We want to do this. I don't really care about the SMG magazine that we get, but I do want um, the file that's in there. So, you know. And there is a lot of liquors in there. I think there's like three. And this is a room that a lot of people haven't seen because uh, unless you know how to trigger it, it's called the zapping system. The things that you could, uh, or the events that change between the two games, like depending on what you do with Claire and Leon, like whether you take the submachine gun or the side pack, blah, 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 um, or whether you just uh, leave everything for Leon, because obviously those things affect uh, the second run or the B scenario. But the zapping system was totally removed for the remake, which, uh, why? I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Should we retire the shotgun and just walk around with a magnum? I think we could do. Well, let's get the upgraded magnum parts. Now, the magnum definitely does do more damage when it's upgraded. But, yeah, we do need to use that right now. But, um... Like, it's so slow. It's so slow. It takes, like, seven years to fire the thing. Evening. Oh, no. Next door. Nice to meet you guys. I would say. Boom, baby. I think we rung his bell. Oh, hello. Well, this room's a bit busy, isn't it? Well, let's not spare the shotgun shells, because we've got about 17,000 in our pocket. Alrighty. I see a lot of dead enemies. I see dead people. Now, let's grab up this. Yes, we will take the power room key. Now, we've got to go all the freaking way back to the power room. Would you Adam and Eve it? You know what? Let's just roll with a magnum. Because, like, honestly, why not? There's literally like, no reason to not be going around with uh, anything less than our most powerful weapon now. And in all fairness, like, even I, when I play this game, I very... <laughs> look like Leon skidded there. Uh, I very rarely use uh, the Magnum. Apart from for the final boss. Because I'm always, like, saving it. I don't know why I'm saving it. There's no point. Literally pointless to save it. So, let's go and, and dig it out. And then, we're going to be pretty much finished with this game. Uh, we do want the P-Room key. We don't want that, though. Uh, let's just dump that down. Just get rid of that. Definitely don't need that anymore. Don't need the shotgun. Let's grab up the magnum. How many shots do we have for the magnum? Yeah. We basically have the same amount of ammo for the magnum as we have the shotgun, so... Pff, roll with it. There we go. The custom magnum. DE50 AE, 10 inch. 10 inch barrel was put onto the D 50 
It can fire uh, DOT 50 action express rounds more powerfully. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well. I guess. Yeah, I do like this. It just annoys me. Like, the blowback on this gun, it's just silly. I mean, one good thing about the shotgun, actually, you can control enemies with it a bit more. It's got a lot more pushback. You can really use it to control lickers. Like, if you're fighting lickers... How the fuck? Wait! That... What? That licker survived a shot from the powered-up magnum. Uh, consider my mind blown? What? I mean, I know these liquors are tougher, but... Three shotgun blasts, or two magnum rounds. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well. No matter. Let's get out of here. Wow, that's actually stunned me. But yeah, you can juggle the liquors with the shotgun, which is good. And you can juggle more than one of them at a time. Yep, now let's go up the world's longest ladder. The ladder to infinity and beyond. And it does look like we're going to be finishing this in the next video. Oh, well, never mind. Have we got enough herbs, guys? I think, like, our entire item box is just herbs. Oh, probably should... I brought the shotgun for this. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should have brought the shotgun for this because we're going into a room that has three liquors in it. But then, you know, whatever. We got like a fucking thousand herbs. So, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Although it's going to perfectly illustrate the uh, the strength of the of the shotgun against liquors. Ooh. So, to that end, to that end, is it even worth using the Magnum for the majority of the game? Is the shotgun actually better because of the spread? Because of the control pattern you get with it? I don't know. But anyway, this is a cool room. Type P. And it has unique music here as well. Come yeah, man. Oh, luckily, they don't really aggro. Like they would in the remake. In the remake, you'd be so fucked. Leon's ass would be twitching. See, I don't think... If you just fire... Oh, it does. Okay. I thought we had to aim down on these guys. Uh-oh. Come on. How many rounds did we fire? Oh, no, we're fine. All right, actually, that went way better than I thought it would. Yeah, totally. Not bad. But anyway, we do have one magazine here. The world's largest magazine. And I always thought that, that gave you 50% ammo, but it doesn't. It gives you 100%. Um, it looks like... Uh, in case... What? It's... Looks like... It's... Looks like... In case to transport some important chemical. But there's... N there's nothing inside... Wow, that was horribly written. Okay. It's... Looks like... In case... Hmm. His abdomen has been ripped apart. So, in here, it's kind of weird. It, it, like, because of the setup of this room, it kind of implies that liquors uh, were... Made in labs? Looks like the remains of a failed experiment. Looks like the remains of a failed experiment. Yeah, the G-Virus experiments. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, actually... 
That almost looks like the forming of a licker's head. But uh, they actually changed the law, really. And they made it uh, so zombies will eventually mutate into lickers. I mean, that's canon. Uh, that's canon now. In fact, if you look at... Um, if you look at some of the concept art of uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake, they kind of even go a step further. They skip... They completely skip um, the crimson head phase in that concept uh, concept art. It goes straight to um, yeah. We need to get out of here now. Goes straight to uh, slowly mutating into a liquor, which is interesting. Because I did like the idea of the crimson heads. And I just spilled all my coffee. Kind of look like a piss myself now. Great. Uh, right, let's go. Now, Sherry's in that room, but we can't get to her yet. <gasps> I've said too much. Yeah, we're definitely going to finish this in the next video. Uh, 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 uh. That's if my PlayStation actually, you know, like lasts. Kind of hope so. But PlayStation 2s were not known for their reliability. Disk drives used to fail quite a lot. I'm thinking about modding my PlayStation 2 so I can install games to the hard drive. Oh. Hello. You murdered my husband. Uh, I know what you're looking wait, what? for. Didn't you? Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, nope. do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. Why she came here is to obtain the I see. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this man in the background chat with her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information. Well, that can't be. <laughs> I know her. I've said three sentences to her. I love that. I know Ada! We've been friends for an hour! Right, well, let's take out Mr. X. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't even get the chance to give us a kick in. What's the matter, X? You sack of shit. Uh, I love that. Oh, cool. Well, just what we wanted. Took us, what, five bullets to put him down? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Five bullets to put him down, and we got... Um, eight. For our troubles. So we profited, which is great. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to finish this game off. Um, oh, just The synergy between him and Ada is just... It's just old school game cheese, really. It, anyway, till next time.